Looks like tenure is slowly dying in the American Academy. Forty years ago, 75% of university faculty had tenure track posts. Now just 25% do, and they've been replaced by an army of adjunct faculty paid very low wages. But with college more expensive than ever and professors increasingly focusing on political activists and esoteric interests rather than on teaching your kids, is the decline of tenure truly to be lamented? Well, Kerry Nelson is an English professor at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. He was once also president of the American Association of University, University Professors and an advocate for tenure. He joins us now. Professor, thanks for coming on. So, Thank you for having me. As I understand it, and I do understand it, and I think it makes some sense, the idea of tenure originally was to protect <laughs> academic, academic freedom. Um, the idea was you should be able to Absolutely. say what you really believe on a college campus. And so if that were true, if it were working, you would see a broad diversity of thought among college professors, and yet study after study, including one just this fall, shows the opposite is true. At the top 40 colleges, Democrats outnumbered Republicans 12 to 1. In history departments, it was 30 to 1. That's not diversity. It doesn't look like America. So it's not working, is it? Well, there's, I mean, there's... There are some disciplines in the humanities which aren't very politically diverse. There are other disciplines, the sciences, the technical schools, engineering, vet med, and so forth, where there's you know, a different range of political opinion. And frankly, in many areas of the university, especially sciences and technical schools, you wouldn't know what faculty members' political opinions are because they right. don't teach subject matter that's engaged with politics. So it really doesn't matter what their politics are. They're never going to express them on campus. Right, in some disciplines, English and history, you know, it's different. It is different, but, but again, even there, and, and I'm not complaining, I'm merely think, saying that the point of tenure is to keep a, a humanities professor from being penalized for having some opinion outside of the mainstream. And my point is, what you have is total conformity well, anyway, look, even look, with tenure. Actually, what you, what, you know, think about this. Let's just say that in a humanities department, English or history, a certain political correctness of political opinion reigns. How are you going to empower a few people to speak differently, to speak their minds, and to resist that, that prevailing opinion? If those people have no job security, if they're hired year by year on a, a substandard wage, they're not going to put everything at risk by, by disagreeing. I mean, part of what the tenure system does is protect those few faculty who have the courage to speak up honestly and resist prevailing opinion. Without tenure, then, then prevailing opinion, political correctness, just rules and no one speaks out against it. So, okay, the, the, um, theoretically, I think I see the tenure you're saying, system but protects those people. But in effect, that's not true. I mean, most of us don't have job security. I've been fired. I say whatever I feel like saying. Perhaps I'll be fired again. But the truth is that tenure protects the mediocre. And if you don't believe it, ask yourself this. Would you be willing to submit to heart surgery from a surgeon who had tenure? Would you fly in an airplane that was flown by a pilot who couldn't be fired? Of course you wouldn't because you would presume they'd be less impressive than people who had to face the pressures of the market, right? Right. Look, over, over and over again, I've seen tenured faculty either fired or forced out or what's more painful given some other kind of job told from now on they can't teach they have to file books in the library and they're not going to get a salary raise for the rest of their lives so tenure protects job security but it doesn't guarantee you the same responsibilities and if you aren't performing those responsibilities at good institutions you're shunted off to the side and you're punished severely but you so, still have an income um, and you know when you in, in the in the pardon you yeah, still have an income well you know, sure there was you a, have what most there was of us a professor don't have. In, there, I'm, we had, a, we had a faculty member here um, years ago who was shunted aside, not given, not given a raise for 20 years, and in the end, he was earning as much as a, teach, as a teaching assistant, a graduate student, by the time he retired. So it can be, universities can be pretty tough on tenured faculty. <laughs> but can I ask you, you a know, question? You, in an your obvious question? Sure. Can I ask you an question? Why, if it was so frustrating and he wasn't able to pursue his discipline in the way he felt he needed to, why didn't he leave and go somewhere else? I mean, maybe it says something about his desires, which are basically to have a sinecure and just, you know, get a check and free meals and use the college swimming pool. 
I mean, doesn't that kind of say something about him? I'm not being mean. Well, I'm being sincere. You know, no, no, I think, look, I think people, the training for a professorship is anywhere from sort of six to nine years. You then go through a, a tenure review process that takes another six years before you get tenure. And right. if all of that is handled properly, it's a pretty good test that you're, not, that you're going to be committed to your job for the rest of your life. It becomes who you are. It's what you do. And people don't want to leave the university environment because they grow up in it. They become committed to it. They really don't want any other life than well, that. Apparently. Um, but sometimes they could do better financially if so they let me did leave. Ask you one, um, I mean, I think... Well, let me just ask you one final question. Just to, I want to go back to a question I asked earlier. And be as honest as you can be. Would sure. you want your surgeon to be tenured? Honestly, you're going in for a, you know, an operation on which your life depends. Would you want to know that that guy can't really be fired? Would you want that? Well, well I mean, first of all, I've had surgery from time to time. And I investigate the surgeon. I find out what his or her reputation is, what their, you know, how how often they operate. Um, tenure wouldn't be the issue. The issue would be whether <laughs> that person is absolutely first rate. Exactly. Okay. That's you know they could have job security, but I right. want to know what they're if they're first of rate. Of course Look, you would, because you're not part of you're the not issue crazy. That, oh, I'm so, I'm sorry, Professor. We're out of time, but I agree with you on that one. <laughs> you, you care about the, if they're good. Thanks for joining us.